Mm -hmm. um, so C is circulation. If we're having to give blood or if we're having to give uh, IV fluids of some kind, this is where that comes into circulation. To restore if they have like a low blood pressure and we need to get it up. Um, and then the H while I'm here is hypothermia. Mm -hmm. And head injury. And I mean, it's hypovolemia too, but that's kind of, I think that's kind of redundant if we're in the circulation part, but um, the one that for you guys is uh, hypothermia and like head injuries, you can assess, but, um, and we can, we can get into that, but hypothermia is the big one. Um, so for every degree Celsius that you lose body temperature, your rate of survival decreases 10%. So uh, these are like $3. This is just a survival blanket. It's a space blanket. It's a literally three dollars. Like is it Amazon. warm? Ah, no, just to no. keep from. Oh, I see. So. Correct. So, um, where is the biggest loss of body heat? You know. Ah, you mean he knows. <laughs> the ground. Oh, the ground. Right. So if I'm laying on the ground, like I'm losing body heat through the ground. Right. But you're, you're right. So it's like lying on the uh, concrete floor in the basement, unless it's like Florida in the summer or where mm -hmm. I'm from in the summer, the ground is colder than my body. So if I'm lying on the ground, I'm losing body temperature. Uh -huh. So the blanket should go between you and the ground, not on top of the person. How big is that blanket? It's big. It's a blanket. It's bigger than it looks. <laughs> blanket. This How blanket, big is that blanket? This blanket is. Does it even say? It probably doesn't even say. Oh, it's the um, foil. Foil blanket. Yeah, okay, it's okay, it's okay. a reflective. It's a space blanket, so it's reflective. It's like it redu replaces like ninety percent body heat retention or something like that. Whatever. But yes. oh, here we go. Uh, I've seen those. Okay, I've seen I've seen them. People recovering. This is eight feet by six feet. So, yeah, I've seen them people recovering themselves like in the like a running place yeah. where if you start like at yeah. four in the morning and people are cold and they yeah. Put them on. So if someone's on the ground, I we can just roll it, roll them, and put this on the ground if we have to work on them, so they're not losing body heat I while we're working see. on them, and then I can put another one on top of them. We're just trying to keep them warm. Okay. Um, this because is, yeah. if they get cold, they can't clot, and if they can't clot, then we can't stop a bleed. Right? We call it the lethal triangle. It's co coagulation, hypothermia, and hypovolemia. So if they're Whoa. cold and they're bleeding, they're not going to be able to clot. And so we it's and we call it, it's like this. We draw a triangle, and it's the three things we call it the lethal triangle. Um, okay. Coagulopathy is the word. Clotting. It's just clot, blood clotting. So, um, and then there's an E, and E is just evac. You know, so the fancy words like March A, we just make fun of it, mm -hmm. but I don't put it on there because. Um, e is evac, and then when we're going to evac, now we get into like our secondary assessment because we've had to move our patients. So now, if we put a tourniquet on, remember we have to recheck it. Um, we have to make sure that nothing's moved. All of our interventions are still good to go. We can reassess. Um, I have something that 